these are my giant darkling beetle pupae and as you can see this one here which is lighter than the rest almost white probably almost blending in with the napkin is actually a very very fresh pupae just recently pupated so it, it's much lighter than the rest as they age in our pupae for a longer period of time you'll see like this one has that black speck which is actually the oculus or one of the eyes forming and the body like these here actually darkens in color so this will be the last one to emerge you can see I actually got some beetles in here there's a beetle. I believe that one's a female. She just emerged last night. So she's kind of orangey. She's not hard yet. And there is a fully hardened giant darkling beetle. And here's another one that's getting there, so to speak. And these little orange things are the cricket gut loading cubes. And these things look really weird. Most people call them aliens. But these are very, very alive. I mean, as you can see, they're not moving. They're alive. Touch them. Move them. Sometimes you can get them to wiggle. That one's tired. I know yesterday I had them all rolling around. There, it wiggled a bit. I don't want to actually grab them with the tweezers and hurt them or anything, but if you touch them, they'll wiggle sometimes. Don't be alarmed. That's normal. So these are the pupae. This here is what they were. This is the larvae form. This is, you know, the superworm, as most people call them, and then they turn into that. But I just showed you the pupae and turned into beetles. This is one of them that I was trying to get to pupate and he didn't. And all the rest did, so I'm taking him out. He must be too small and putting him back with the other little guys. And this here is where it'll be going. But notice this one on top. This is this is really weird. This doesn't happen a lot. But this worm here on top, which is blending in very well. But this one right here, which is kind of making this, this kind of like this six, kind of curly circle shape. That is what they do when they're getting ready to pupate. When they're getting ready to turn into the little alien things that I showed you. And it's really odd that this is, this guy is doing it inside the cup where all the rest of the superworms are. Because in order to get these guys to pupate, to turn into adult beetles so that you can breed more, you have to separate each individual worm to get them to pupate. They won't pupate if there's other worms around because they're afraid of, of being eaten while they sit in this dormant, like, curly Q shape, you know, hardening their bodies and turning into, like, the cocoon form which is the pupae. So it is really like, odd that he's doing this right on the top of the container. There are other worms in here. But he is alive. I gently blew on him. I didn't want to disturb him too much. Um, his tail's moving a little bit. His little butt. So I don't know if he'll, you know, if I'm going to open this thing in, you know, two weeks or so and find a pupae laying in here. Or if he's just resting, or maybe he's just curled around that piece of food they're eating it, and he's not really, you know, getting ready to pupate. But I found it really odd to see that. But stay tuned to my DeviantArt. I'll have a link with pictures of the giant darkling beetle's life cycle. Stay tuned.